up to the tournament. Yeah, no, no Nixie, no, no Sinji, Sinji, no so like, Kill Sage today. So no matter what, we have a new champion because the two past champions didn't show up. They're like, we're done with mm -hmm. this film. We want to keep Xeno interesting. We want to yeah. constantly change it up. Where it is, we have so many players here. Yep. MDVA came out, New England came out. Like, what? Yeah, we this had is supposed MD to be a local. Why yeah. is it MDVA, a regional? And MDVA come out with ZD. We yep. had uh, the two carpools we brought out from Connecticut with uh, Light, Nelvin, Koga, Chavo, myself, Hawk, and a bunch of others. Most of them currently out of bracket. Light, the only one who's still remaining, but Light obviously has continued to prove why he oh. should be considered such a strong threat. I didn't even notice that Ray beat ZD. ZD yeah. Yeah, didn't make top eight. Yeah, you Ray me actually came down into the stream room, just showed me his phone with some writing on it, and it said, MDVA is dead. MDVA's <laughs> dead. <laughs> I mean, who's not dead? These oh, two right now. Starting off, Santa, dude. <laughs> starting off on MD Try here. We next got time, guys. <laughs> Uh, we got Fox versus Greninja starting off on game one here. Venya, huge um, amount of tweets lately about why Greninja is so good. Okay, except okay, for the fact that wait, wait. Apparently he wait, can't recover still wait, with that Venya? bounce off the wall. So giving up a little bit of charity to the incoming visitors, trying to yeah. let Light know that he can still steal out the stock. Stop, this is not a two-stock match. What is going on? Uh, you know what? We're creeping up on six minutes, so we're going back to Smash 4 almost. Almost. Well, it's okay. With this new street stock meta, those two SD, well, the SD to the quick stock, we could both put those in the back pocket and run right back into it. So a lot of players would naturally be disheartened mm -hmm. from self-destructing that early in the matchup, especially in winners' finals, especially against someone of the caliber as of mm -hmm. the caliber as Light. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't. He immediately just knocked Light out of the hey. ball park and brought this back to a two-stock game. So exactly. it just kind of shows his prowess. Both of these two players have a lot of respect for each other and very similar in their aggro. Venya just going immediately after that. It has been one minute and Venya has taken two stocks. What? And Light actually hasn't taken next to any confirmation of blood. Gets countered on the side, trying to go for that forward smash, and now getting ledge trapped. Venya looking very, very strong so far in this game one. Oh, Wait. that's actually a bad is spot. Is that death? The LP oh. is going to make it back, though. I'm Gets shocked. the Nair. What is this match? What a great way to start off this winner's final so far. I, okay, listen, bro. I thought Venya might have like gone down there and tried something else besides counter, but he wanted to catch the I Firefox. I think he was trying to go for the counter to the uh, the downward spike because we saw what he did with MGW earlier. It just kills you. It, it does. It's so mean, too. The parry into off of the Nair. Yeah. Knight not going to get it again that time there. Venya reacting a little bit differently. This is a big thing. Even though Venya could put on a lot of damage, Light can meet that just as quick with these quick Fox Strings. Yeah, he just needs one up tilt to get going here. That's exactly what he's doing against Venya. But wait a minute. Actually doesn't get the F smash out the ledge. Could have potentially stolen a stock. Fox still not necessarily a one of the heavier characters, and Greninja's knockback still really strong in this game. Yeah, Venya doing a fantastic job. Wait a minute. Not going to work in this game, Bucko. Got, gets out of there, but wait. That's a soft hit. Neutral air into up smash. Light taken. Kind of probably the wackiest game we've seen today. Absolutely. You know, just the fact that we got to winners' finals, we saw multiple SDs come from, like you said, what would normally be a derailment of many players. Both of these two kept their composure so well. And, like, even though the fair foot still doesn't work anymore, that Nair Dob smash still does. Like, honest to God, like, two of those three stocks were Venny had just derping, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I get why he went for the counter, because he was hanging against the edge. Mm -hmm. He was expecting Light to use Firefox against the stage, but Light reacting right here. This is actually when it happens. Mm -hmm. He knocks him off. Oh, no, wait, actually, no, that's, no, that's what, Yeah, he caught it, the jump, recognizing he was going a little bit too high. I like the commitment of Venya to consistently not let right Light here. recover free. There it is, though. He did it right there, but the problem is Light had time to react to him going that way, so he just went straight up instead of trying to hug against the mm -hmm. wall. I think it was a little bit low in the blast zone, so I couldn't tell, but I think Light actually shine stalled down there so he can prevent the timing from Venya trying to go after him. This yep. is a very smart uh, mental awareness if that's what actually happened there. Wait, can we talk about this, these Christmas gifts in the background, dude? Like, it is happy Wait. holidays, dude. Like, I, I always have to praise Devin at least once, twice, or 12 times on the stream every dude, time I come here. it's snowing in this game. He's got the snow. He's got the Christmas. The holiday how spirit he, is not over. We still he, got the... How did he hack the switch to make it snow? That's what I want to know. My memes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so running into game two here, running back on FD. I actually agree with this because the match wasn't really out of range for either player. There no. was just a lot of goofs. Now we're going to see much more, well, potentially much more solid gameplay coming in from both of them. And you don't want to be going down to losers this or like in winner's finals, right, when you're so close to being mm -hmm. sitting comfortable in grands. And Venia, I could definitely see this going to game three pretty easily. Venia was playing out of his mind that game, just made a couple flubs. Yep, absolutely. Bring this back. He was definitely he was pretty much playing without a stock. And a Light, once again, catching him with the Nair on, uh, on the landing with the parry. He's done a good job of consistently recognizing when a single hit option that leads to a combo comes in, 
He stops it, but Venya also noticing all these bad landings Light's going for. Trying to go for a Shine Spike, not in range, could get punished, but holds down to push him off on the ledge. Great recovery from Venya. He recognized that he whiffed the counter, so he had to back away from Light before getting back onto the stage. Light getting the single hit in there. Looked like he was fishing for that backer, but backing off, not fully committing. Venya reaching and not gonna do anything. My that man shine reached for the top cupboard of the shelf and did not trip on that ladder, man. He mm. got the stock. Here we go. Venya is still sitting at 100%, though. Light managed to connect a sour spot in there, which is what he's looking for right now. He wants the up smash afterwards, but Venya is schmoving. Wait, hold on. Thought he was going to recover low, try to get the counter afterwards. Bates out the forward smash, punishes it accordingly. Down tilt. Oh my god, Venya, slow down. Oh, here we go. Gets oh, yeah, an answer there, with the up smash. Go. Even with that first game won by Light, this has mostly been the Venya show. He's been really controlling the pace and wrecking a lot more damage than Light off the get go. But I don't think Light has had a comfortable time landing again, getting caught on the air dodge with that fair. Venya's entire game plan right now is just to rush down Light and just make sure that he doesn't have time to like warm up to this Greninja because you know Light does not have Greninja practice in this game. Like he's played against Venya before in Smash 4, but this is a whole new Greninja. Venya's saying that he thinks Greninja's top tier. He's got buffed so hard from the last Absolutely. game. And and we're it, starting to see it come to fruition. It's kind of hard to get just general practice against Greninja unless it's Venya's too. He just maximizes the potential of this character and the strings that he comes up with on the fly are so good. Even Light has to respect him from somebody who's normally used to just building combos on the fly. Right. Does it catch him with the back air at the ledge? Going a little bit too high with the side B. But Venya opting to go for the high recovery, getting back in. And he's now frame trapped him. He has no jump. Light has to go for the side B to get back down to the ground. Controller trying to chase him off. Baits out the air dodge. He didn't have a jump either, so that could have been the opportune time for Venya to go for something big. Good response. Just throws out the active hitbox. Sour spot there into up smash. But Venya's literally one hit away from closing out this game. Yeah, again, see, he's shine stalling on the bottom to prevent the timing from Venya trying to edge guard. Edge guard, the uh, edge guarding on Venya's side has been very solid all day. Not gonna get the confirm from the Nair into the uh, forward air. Gets the right call, but doesn't catch him. Oh my god, gets the Dunkaroo 157%. One down tilt away. Or just go for the raw back air. Throwing it back out, 168%. Light trying to find his way back onto the stage. Gets pivot grabbed, forward thrown. Get out of here. Game two going to Venya. And at for new fourth throw killing at uh, the ledge there is a very great option for Venya, where normally he would go for the up throw for these kills. Now he can continue to ledge shot people at the edge, and you don't have to worry so much about having to commit to a fair or F smash. He has something to bait people in the shield and then confirm that kill. Now what's crazy about this entire situation, let's, let's reel it back a bit. Light won. NYXL, Nintendo Excel, uh, mm -hmm. Nintendo, New York Excelsior's tournament that mm -hmm. happened this past weekend, four day, four or five days ago. So he's like on a high, right? Venia did not do as hot in that tournament. I don't think he made, t he did not make <laughs> top eight at all. So we, we got the camera, we're coming to yeah, get involved. I, I right? appreciate like the fact that he's been watching and following through all of yeah. Light's mid game. Light stands like, for years. Yes, he, he has like a he's mid game routine, thinking, like a literally. ceremonial routine. There you go, slapping his face, trying the, to wake up a little bit. The thing is, there's a lot on his mind because, like I said, he just won a uh, New York Excelsior, but now he's about he's one game away from being knocked into losers finals after being the likes of Nairo. And also, majority of the Xenos slash Xeno sagas he's attended in recent history, obviously in a different game, was usually him coming out on top. And the fact that he's coming into this now with Venya looking very solid. It is game three. It's not over yet. No, it's not, not Venya looking super primed to take this all the way and put himself in grand finals. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm definitely not counting him out whatsoever because, like I said, it is game three. He's got his counter pick. I'm just saying the possibility is there, and that mm -hmm. might be messing with him a little bit. It might be doing something to him mentally. It's definitely, you got to keep oh that back your head. He just God. dies at 87%. This is just a great position for Venya, sitting only at 14, just answering Light. Every time he tries to land, he's taking advantage of what Light normally wants and using it against him is to be super aggressive. You know, Venya kind of slowing the pace down a bit. See him chilling back, playing super safe, trying to cross him up with the neutral air. Neutral air being a great combo starter for Venya, uh, uh, Greninja. Mm -hmm. Allows him to get a lot of damage off of well, that. Venya and Greninja, it's it. yeah. they're basically the same thing at this point. And there's no reason for him to follow up right there and try to go for the tech chase. He throws a shuriken mm -hmm. instead. He does have a full stock lead to work with, so. I actually like the fact that Venya's starting to slow this down a little bit more. After having that stock lead, that forward smash not going to kill, unfortunately, for Light. Could have definitely used that. Light shop's option. Actually, again, he's con consistently recovering. Double jump high, and nobody's really punished him for it. I got that sour spot. Oh, smash, you got to look out for that. 
Light's trying to mix him, waits for the jump out of shield. Light baited that out from a mile away. That he is just played around him, dude. He just <laughs> where most people, the jitters. where most people, where you would expect to just go for an up smash, go for a grab in that situation, yeah. Light just footsied around him, baiting and waiting for the optimal situation. But Whoa. optimal situations as well, down tilt into fair. Light currently on his winner's side, stock life. That's the biggest problem is that Vinny has a full stock lead, two to one. He's looking like he's gonna be the one sitting in grands unless Light turns up the heat right now. I we guess got, we he's more of that movement that we saw on the top platform. I just realized that too. New game, new records. Light has always beaten Venya. Venya has not taken a game off of him yet. This is potentially the first time he might get it, and this is the be a great time to do it. There's a lot of money on the line tonight. Yeah, for over $400 for first place for a local, mm -hmm. a weekly. 126 competitors, these two at the top end of that, trying to solidify their spot in grand finals. Venya looking so much stronger, but like trying to get something going. Okay, beats out that air dodge. Oh, oh my god, he pulled out! Oh my god. <laughs> He got the neutral air. He got the forward smash. The slice and dice coming out from a million miles away. Venia is moving on to grand finals. Look at that. And that, children, boys and girls of the world, is that what we call getting mixed. This man thought that he had a free spot to land, throws out the nair trying to bait out any aggressive option from Venia, and he charged that. About three seconds earlier, the book was read, he returned it to the library, and now Light currently has to sit on the loser side while Venya sitting comfortably in Grands on winner's side. So let's check out the instant replay. This is when he puts him in the blender, turns it on, power on. But well, then remember, he had to plug it in first. So he be in Utopian Ray. Utopian Ray taking out the invader ZD in loser's bracket. Now having to play against Mystery. I know yeah. uh, Utopian Ray's been playing a lot of Olimar, but also this Palutena, extremely solid. He was originally a Palutena, started messing around with Olimar as well. But then he got Mystery on the opposite side, Taking out Jen, who's been a good up-and-comer, getting second last week, going home with a seventh-place finish this time around. Also playing Palatina as well, so he's warmed up for this matchup right now. It just depends on how Utopian Ray plays. Yeah. Utopian Ray, much more defensive, much more passive than that of, say, Jen. Uh, you know, he did re play Rosalina in the last game. However, when he gets going, it's very hard to make the bleeding stop. Mystery, much more of a passive player himself with the spacing he wants to uh, exert and slowly chip his way to victory. I think that this might be a little bit more in favor for you, Token Ray. The thing is, you call Mr. E passive, but the second he lands one tipper or gets any sort of momentum, he is getting in your face. That is, and he is making That is moves. true. Mr. E, very, very solid at the ledge for the most part. Oh, gets caught in the air, though, by the explosive flame. Sleeping a little bit. You like, Token Ray going to take that. It's like Ray versus Stock Taker all over again. You got to be on the lookout for that. You get the triple, uh, the double neutral airs. Trying to follow up with a third forward air. I like the delay for Mr. E trying to go for the Dolphin Slash attempt. Still gets him with an F Smash, but a little bit too close. I like that Utopian Ray made sure he went close to E. That way he wouldn't take a tipper because he was going to get punished no matter what. Yeah, he had to go up because he would have got two for. I mean, he, he, he was re grabbing the ledge. He would have been mm -hmm. completely vulnerable for a tipper forward smash. Mm -hmm. So that was the most optimal thing Ray could have done. Yeah. Take damage or die. Yep. You, you, you choose. That's a big thing in this game. Acceptable damage is very huge. You have to know what situations it's okay. With only having one air dodge, you can't just spam your way to, uh, to safety anymore. Okay, up throw is not going to be able to kill just yet. Maybe one more grab and a little bit more pummels. It is that final destination, though. We do have a pr pretty small ceiling, actually. So just goes for the Dolphin Slash immediately. Gets the kill. This is Mystery's first time at Xeno since Ultimate has been released. So this is, this is the first time we've actually seen him. There's attendance. a couple people who actually, this is their first event coming yeah. back out. I saw uh, Professor MJW as well. And it's really nice to see that Mystery is still holding that consistency from previous yeah. game to carry into this one. And he's doing a good job of keeping Utopian Ray feel uncomfortable at points. But Ray has just been able to rack up this damage so much faster than he has. Goes for the Dolph. Uh, so that that right move right there, the Dancing Blade, really good at catching spot dodges and rolls because it's just a long-lasting hitbox because they go by super quick. You see how quick it is. Especially with the worst tech techs in this game, but who needs techs when you can catch them with an air dodge? Yeah. Or excuse me, an up air. That's going to be yet another stock going to Utopian Ray. Looking so solid so far in this game. Oh, God. The tipper forward air sounds so destructive. You hear that? So beefy and actually doesn't get hit on the top. And luckily, he wasn't close enough, uh, or wasn't yeah. far enough away to win box him away with that Dolphin Slash. Yeah, which is exa exactly what Ray was trying to go for. Wait, he tried to delay to try to get the tipper on the fourth swing to not connect, or else Ray would be dead right now. Mm -hmm. Utopia Ray just neutral get up, holding shield. He's going to get yeah. forced into a situation again. Often recover high this time, though. It was a good call. Yeah, Marth doesn't get too much off of a grab at this certain percent, so he might as well just hold shield and just take it. You put back into disadvantage of dying. Mm -hmm. 
And he's consistently been baiting Mr. E into these air dodges where it seems like it would be a good situation for him, but it's just not. And he's been racking up so much free damage because of it. Catching him on the jump off the stage as well. Not going to kill just yet with that back air, but he did catch the yeah. jump. That he that was very it's kind of a greedy option to go for when you let go of the ledge and double jump back on to swing. If you get knocked off stage, especially like Marth, you're dead. Like mm -hmm. you saw him, like because he already used his double jump to get back on, he was done for. And you saw Ray playing extremely patient there, just walked away before committing to the back air. And a very comfortable two stock lead on him as well. Even though he was racking up the damage, Mr. E just couldn't close the deal. And I think it's because Utopian Ray was just doing a good job of staying just enough out of his range where he felt like he could punish him accordingly. But every time he overcommitted, he took so much extra damage from the multiple Nairs and the explosive flames when he tried to land. Yeah, just definitely catching him again and again. Let's see if Mr. E can try to adapt for game number two, sticking with the Marth. I know he used to play Wolf a couple weeks ago when he was at Sky's Invitational. Didn't do so hot over there, so he's going back to his try and true. Marth, Marth still, uh, people sleeping on him a little bit too early. He does have a, he has the ability to kill you at an absurd percent if you manage to get the tippers. The tippers are maddening to deal with. Yeah, and I've heard many complaints about the new dancing blade, but I've also seen Mr. E land the tipper last hit of the dancing blade at least five times today. So he's already adjusted to it. And this character is definitely not out of it at all, especially with the new air dodge mechanic, being able to chase people's landing so much easier. Looking yeah. a little bit more comfortable on this stage, but again, Utopian Ray's defense just seemed to be taking the cake so far. I think a lot of people just wanted to discount Marth a bit from like the previous game because of his jab. Jab in the past game yep. would lead into like anything you wanted. Forward air, forward. Oh, he actually still had... No, he used the air dodge. It's going to get him close enough, though. That's been such an underutilized tool from a lot of people early on, is doing the directional air dodge to get yourself back. But playing that far away from Palatina is only going to land you in bad situations with the auto radical and the explosive flame. As we're seeing right now, he just cannot zone break him. Dude, that counter, like, froze time for a bit. Very freaky. Here we go. Mystery. Just got to shield it. You get, take a little bit of shield damage. And the second he avoids it, he falls right back into the second explosive flame. Smashville might not have been the most opportune choice for Mystery, but I guess, you know we're still experimenting. We're, try, we're, we're still trying to figure out exactly. what stages I, are good for what characters. I get you know? the concept, like smaller stage platform, be able to chase him down a little bit easier where he was getting out space on FD. But Utopian Rage has just been using it to his face. Like, all right, cool, you got two routes. You can come at me from the top or the bottom. Either way, I'm still going to zone you out. Don't you want to get that forward tilt? Back here into dash deck, true confirm. Now, mystery has got to be careful with these grabs because even though he's hungry for them, you know, if you whiff that, especially a dash grab, you, you're completely vulnerable. And there, there we, we go, go again, catching him with the last hit. So many people have been dropping that where E just has not. And that is something I got to really ask him afterwards where that delay is in that side because it's been super consistent all day. Yeah, he's doing a really good job getting that tipper. But here we go, two stocks apiece. Mystery at kind of hyper sense. Gonna have to really respect these projectiles. He actually used the wave land to like avoid the mm. auto reticle. Actually, uh, very interested to see more people develop that as time goes. Trying to catch him on the two frame with that down air, not gonna get it though. That could have been a great position for him. Here we go, fair train, not close enough though to seal the deal. Okay, good, he had a DI away. Palatina does not have a kill throw at that percent, so he's definitely trying to set him up for like a down throw. If you were to DI in, he would be dead. So Mr. had to DI away to get away from that, sitting at 106%, avoiding baits out the auto reticle, but not too much of a lag from the deal with back throw, not getting the kill just yet. Mystery getting back onto the stage. Mm -hmm. That was actually the first time I've seen Utopian Ray go for an attempted two frame on the ledge as well with that down tilt. So good at lingering at the ledge. I think he's just finally kind of starting to remember it. And that's also a very scary position for E now too, because that back throw at the ledge will kill at this point. Oh, he's out of jumps, forces the warp. Couldn't get the two frame with the down tilt. And he's actually starting to slowly bring this back. I think Utopian Ray has been playing so passive that he's actually starting to let Mr. E get comfortable with the way that he wants to play this game. And this is looking a lot different from the beginning of this so far. And Mr. E has calmed down. He's at, he still hasn't lost his stock when he's seen it 86% earlier, just holding on to the dream. Could not get the second swing of neutral air to land. Now he's having trouble chasing down Ray. There he goes, Tipper Ford Air, just putting him off stage. You hear the rocket blast. And here's that pick for Smashville coming through from as well. Catching him, being aggressive on the recovery though with the side B, very smart option Dude, from Utopia Dude, when you Ray. get killed when, because, from someone that's in disadvantage, it always mm -hmm. leaves a sting, you know? Yeah, it, but it does not matter, Mystery is taking that sting away, put the bandaid on it, got the up E out of shield, immediately brings it down to a one stock situation. Exactly, and again, opting to do that directional air dodge to wave land towards the platform and get himself safe. 
it, now we're seeing much more aggro play out of Utopian May, where he was getting chased down on the platform and he couldn't zone anymore. Now he's trying to meet Mr. E with hitbox for hitbox. I think this is this is a very bad spot for Utopian right now with the way that Mr. E's starting to look in this third stock. Goes back here. Didn't want to come into the full dancing blade. Could not DIY from that grab combo. His mystery is just desperately trying to find his way back down to the stage. Now, he's been using Shield Breaker a lot more recently here. He's trying to catch Ray going for a block. Doesn't work against uh, with the Power Shield parries, but something, wow. something you gotta be aware of. And I'm waiting for, there it is. I've been waiting for Utopian Ray to uh, accordingly punish these explosive flames, forcing the jump, trying to condition him to go high. And that time going for the up air, unfortunately didn't kill. Could have been the situation he was looking for. Ray's constantly trying to stay on the move to avoid getting tippered. Puts him in the air, tries to fall up with an up air, but good double jump coming up from Mr. E to avoid the situation. Good back job throw. holding shield as well. The back throw is going to take it. That's going to be a clean 2 all coming in from Utopian Ray. That was so well played at the tail end because Mr. E really got momentum towards the end of that last uh, second stock. He it just, just it came a little too late. And he died for it. He lost. He got the 2-0 victory for Utopian Ray. Mystery's going home with a fourth place finish, which is nothing to sneeze at in Out this of 126 minutes. Yeah. This is a mini regional today. Yeah, that, this is that, honestly, this is a mini regional. The final Zeno of the year. Yes, that's it's a losers finals. We got Light coming back up versus Utopian Ray. So this is gonna be quite the set now. Utopian Ray being a player that made it all the way to losers finals at Zeno, not what I imagined, honestly. I mean he did get seventh at New York Excelsior's tournament. But he's playing against the first place finisher right now, Light. And he, you have to really land a hit before that neutral comes out. Now, this could be a devastating set for him, right? Because Fox just has the rushdown of the gods. And no, Paolo is also a type of rushdown character able to just, you know, throw the neutral layers out there. Like, it, it, when you got someone the caliber of Light, it could be rough to deal with. So the second Light finds any sort of opening, yep. it could be devastating. Now, there's something that happens a lot that people talk about for their, their top players in the area. They say, oh, man. When they go into losers, they become monsters. Light, very much in that same category. When he gets to losers, he gets hungry, he gets mad, and he wants to win. And as you can see, uh, you know, Topian Ray meeting him a lot towards the uh, middle end of that stock, but Light just playing super aggressive and not letting him try to breathe. He wants that run back on Venya so bad. It's up to Ray to slow down what is really impossible to slow down. Honestly, when Light lost to Venya, I'm sure in his mind he was like, okay, I lost the first set to Venya in his best two or three sets because he's getting back there is what is in his mind. He, is, he, see, he's, he sees Ray as an obstacle to get there and he's gonna close him up really quick just to move on. That's exactly what we're witnessing right now. Ray's off stage on his second stock already. Look at that forward smash, just catch the neutral, get up one stock away, Light is on fire. Absolutely, you know, this would be a great W for Utopian Ray to put into his pocket, but this has just been all the light show so far on this first game here. Good delay, avoiding that explosive flame attempt on the recovery. And now we're just avoiding this advantage state and adjusting. Good parry on that rapid jab, though, to put himself in situation. Catches the tech in place and waited for the spot dash to get that forward smash. Great read coming from Ray. Bane to get that stock as he's trying to turn on the engine a little bit with these neutral airs. Drag him off stage, that was three in a row. Pushes him off, catches him with a down tilt, eats the double jump with a four. Forward air continues the combo. Light, where are you going, bro? Okay, there he goes. Yeah, that was a good option to go for that back air because he caught him twice at the ledge, so maybe he might try to jump. But this is a complete reversal of what we saw at the very beginning. Utopian Ray really starting to stop the bleeding. It doesn't get the fair, but we could be seeing an attempted down air at some point on one of these Firefoxes. The thing is, Ray is also hungry for that run back with Venia. Venia knocked him out. I knew that, that was a close set. It was a last stock, last hit kind of situation. So Ray does have the potential to win this and the whole tournament. It gets yeah. him going high, and all of a sudden, what was just a steamroll from Light has been evened back up from Palatina and Utopian Ray. Goes for the rapid jab just to push him off, catches the down tilt, just a devastating move for Fox Illusion. As we were talking about before, wow, my goodness, that went from zero to 95, what are relatively these unanswered. Ajax, what are these confirms? I don't know. Like I said, you know, Light is basically at a Build Bear factory when he's playing this game. He just makes them up on the fly. What bear was that? What bear was that, man? You tell me. What, I don't what know. type of bear? Is that, was that a Palutena bear? It, it is. Put a green wig on it, rip it in half, <laughs> take it back, get a new one. He buys his Christmas gifts just to rip them in half later. And Light taking that first game, but you know what? Kudos to Utopian Raid yep. with the way that he kept his composure. I do not think that in any way, shape, or form, Light is going to be going to this next game. Just kind of blitzing his way in the way that he was in that game because Utopian Raid really slowed it down and almost brought that back. Man, it, it, you can tell it's boxing yes. day, man. Like. <laughs>
Oh wait, actually, technically, I guess this is on, angry on, return day. Technically, yeah, angry return day, dude. Like all those ungrateful people, I like, got the gifts they didn't actually want instead of just keeping it because it was a sweet yeah, gift like, from a loved one. Like just super take it back. grateful for that L that Venya handed to him, oh, and he's trying to yeah. return it really bad by getting himself Cash back there. Cash back, please. All right, here we go. Ray's going back with the neutralers again. I I swear we saw a scenario one time before. He had to recover high that time, but that's exactly what Ray wants to drag him to the other side of the stage. Mm -hmm. Manages to escape the vortex. All these new adjustments to Palatina were just working so well. It, it, as you were just saying, it was just so free, but gets the jab lock into the F smash, doesn't tech, and the bleeding just keeps on going, but only 53%. Never mind, 72, back to even. Yeah, right there, I think he was expecting Ray to just try to like fall down there, get caught by that Fox illusion. Yeah, agreed, you know, and all of a sudden, Ray having a hard time getting back down to the ground. But good answer with the Nair out of shield. This is something you're going to see a lot more people going for. The out of shield options relatively limited in this game. But Nair from Palatina, definitely not one of those. Yeah, air dodging onto the platform. A very scary situation. He just goes for the up smash, expecting a jump out of shield. Utopian Ray just sticks to his guns with that, with the holding on the shield. Down tilt. Down tilt is like Fox's bane, that right? Is that catches right now. Fire Fox, that catches Fox Illusion. It's a long lasting active hitbox that he just has to respect, and it puts him up into such a position where Ray can follow up with whatever he wants. Forward air, reverse air, you'll rush back air. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Speaking of uh, Rars, coming in there with him, uh, one of his own, getting that back air, putting her head just a little bit too far above the ledge. You know, this is such a great tool now for Utopian Raid the way he's playing because why go off an edge guard Fox when you can guarantee that you get a reset of that situation every time you use that down to Ooh, trying to get the back air again which I mean I've been noticing a lot of up throws coming from Raid a lot I, I noticed that Jen's uh Palutena doesn't tend to go for that too often but like the up throw I like what, he likes putting the opponent above him. I like what he's doing it too because what, like we saw with Mr. E and now repeating it with this is he up throws, forces those air dodges and then Palatina so fast that she could cover it with the Nair and up air anyways. So she's really winning out on those disadvantage situations where a lot of these characters want nothing to do with it and air dodge back in the stage but doesn't matter. We're going to reset, gets thrown back away again. Hops to recover in, finally able to get himself back down, but the back throw already conditioned and getting thrown off yet again. The second you get back to stage, you're just going right back into the audience, into the bleachers. He can't get back. Firefox, another back air, too high a percent to be able to tech that. That was untechable. Light is done for. Yeah, that's not something you're normally used to seeing as well. Light, a tech machine. This usually doesn't drop any of those, but because of the way the design is in this, light can actually bleed. Yeah, it, it, uh, if, there's a certain velocity where if you go too fast against the wall, it is impossible to tech. And that, that certainly was it. Light looking for an up tilt at the ledge, potentially for a Palatina going a little too high. It doesn't drag off the ledge anymore, which is, to oh, many of us, no. we're very happy about. But Light's starting to fish for these up smashes, man. Kind of uncharacteristic mm -hmm. of him. Usually he's like on point with catching the up smashes or just tries to combo into it. But or just the simple forward smash to catch the neutral get up on the ledge. That's the second time he's caught Ray with it. One of the few complaints Light has had about this character is the consistency of killing. You have to search for the Nair. You have to search for those reads at the ledge. And it, it's just not as easy as the last game. And I think Utopian Ray has caught on to that. He's just kind of staying out of range and punishing all of these Nairs, as well as when he tries to bait out a shield drop into an up smash. There he goes. Try, good, great spacing coming out from Ray, narrowly avoiding that kick, but he is one stock away, one up smash away from being sent home into third place finish, but Light puts him back off stage, 129%, looks for the up tilt, or just a back air instead, he's pushing oh, the shield get, forward! Does he get the shield poke on the top end of it, but gets the parry into the up smash, and a, a pop off from Light, a very, very hard fought W in there. Utopia Ray was not giving him to that for free. I love this moment, you notice that Ray's pushing the shield forward because he's trying to not get clipped by the mm -hmm. back air. But then the second he throws out an active hitbox, Light coming out in his normal fashion, connecting the parry afterwards. And I was actually talking to Light earlier about how, man, you were on point at NYXL with those parries, mm -hmm. how do you do it? He just says he doesn't think about parrying. He thinks about like, when I'm gonna get hit, and he just taps R. Yeah. He just, he just Go, it's not about letting go shield at the right time, it's about just pushing R at the right time to yeah. like his, shield on, shield off. His reaction speed is already really nuts, to be mm. real. Uh, but also just his ability to recognize when you want to get aggressive is so strong. The fact that he's already adjusting to this new game's defensive mechanics with that parry where many people have not gotten used to it, unless your name's Gimmer. Uh, it, you know, it's really, really hard to get used to, and Love he's you, maximizing Gimmer. it.
I like this song. I'm so happy. I'm and also, I do <laughs> one thing that I do appreciate Light for, especially at our locals, is that he makes sure that he always puts on the right music. So I'm not losing my mind listening to Smashville music Thank over and over and over. God. And just all this new music that we have in this game is something you guys get to enjoy in stream as well. Or on Grand Finals Game One, Venya and Light rematched. Who's Wait a minute. This isn't fighting Polygon team. Hold on a second. No, it is. No, like, the, the, I don't see them. I don't <laughs> oh, okay. Where are right. they? I, I miss see, those guys. Uh, just ignore what I said. I haven't <laughs> seen them since 1999, man. Oh, the, the, the good old days. All right, but back onto this, though. We have Light looking much more solid compared to that first game. But again, this is very very much not out of reach because of the fact that Venya was taking all that damage before and just completely reversed it pretty much every time. Now, what's actually crazy is that Light's riding a lot of momentum here. You know, he just mm -hmm. took out Ray in Loser's Finals, getting Ray a third place finish, coming back into it here. And he has to win two sets against Venya in his best two of three, by the way. We don't do any best three of fives here because this is a week night. We're trying to get home. Yes, and also because of the history of a certain Sinji and a certain John Numbers. Oh my, don't even get me started. Here I, we go. I've heard the horror stories. Well, back to the match. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Venya, again, st still sitting at 97%, connects the neutral air, managed to combo off of it. I like that shuriken for trying to catch a jump in case you go for the jump a little bit too early. Oh, they I like what he actually did there. He was trying to catch him with the Firefox because of the fact that he has no hitbox on that LB, trying to force him to, uh, you know, have to be knocked away. But finally, both of them are back on the stage after about 30 seconds. Nobody dying because Crazy of it. Crazy offstage action happening. You notice that, like, li again, Venya thought he was going to go straight up that time, but then Light went for the wall. Like, it's all about Light reacting to him, so I feel like the counters just aren't really working out for him on this type of stage. But that'll work. We'll take that to the bank. That was a dash cancel, that was a dash cancel down tilt as well, so canceling his momentum to get that guaranteed kill confirm is so strong, where you would normally have to respect a dash attack. Now you have to respect multiple options because of that. The down tilt, uh, new animation in this game. He actually, like, karate chops your ankles, mm -hmm. but speaking of karate chops, that was not one. That was a back air. Mm -hmm. Foot to the face. Oh, other types of karate and only taking 30 percent as well so not too bad for having for lost that first stock venya able to rack on damage so fast i like the single jab to force him to have to go low again trying to see how he reacts after these jabs venya trying to mix up where he's gonna go with the master of using up b to just like go back and forth normal greninjas would do that and just sd afterwards but i very rarely see venya sd off of up b except for like that first stock in the first set and lucky for venya that until doesn't drag off the ledge anymore either because you definitely wouldn't see him do that if that was still the case gonna get punished accordingly oh, but not falling for that air air dodge. again he wanted the air dodge if at first you don't succeed, if it works the first time keep trying it until you know it doesn't work it's a scary spot too because if he reads you with it <laughs> just like that up smash Wait, with a fair he could on. have potentially killed hold the heck on did he pop off irl while like you saw Mike shake of it when he taunted mm -hmm. he's what? feeling himself that's a scary light to fight against when light is trying to get momentum a lot of people you know they, they, they tend to see him and they're like oh man he taunts a whole bunch that's how he gets into it and also he wants it, it's a mental thing as well you get into your opponent's head you start to get that momentum going for you that's a great thing but venya very unfazed by that and evening this back up yeah like taunting is a very strong tactic in this game mm -hmm. it's like it's banned from online though what the heck like that makes me sad i want to talk cancel into things online but they won't <laughs> <laughs> no taunting in my lobby. No taunting. Oh, dude, <laughs> there should be an option, dog. I want to, like, no, get kicked. It's all about crouching you're, now, you're dog. You're DQ'd from the tournament. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, got a parry coming out from light. Not able to get the punish because Venya was on the way out during that neutral air. That was an escape neutral air. And Venya trying to read him going a little bit low with that side B. Not going to get it, though. He's going to have to start playing careful, though, because he's at 96%. He Good thing he went aggressive on his way back on the stage, too, because the back air was ready to meet him. Yeah. Literally, oh, he caught the Fox Illusion? Forces the, the low recovery again, tries to go off stage, gives up stage presence for the counter. I mean, if he lands that, Light's dead. Exactly. So I get why he's going for it so often. Exactly. Like, even if you know, if it misses four times, if you get it that fifth time and it steals you the game, no tech! And oh, the reaction no. for the roll. No taxis. This is the first game. And you see Light feel, like really getting into it, slapping his leg a few times. Like, come on, I got this. I got this. Let's go. Venya, again, going to put that in his back pocket. There's nothing about that game at all that was a huge detriment to Venya. Just got caught in a situation where most people would because late with his reaction speed, super good at getting those rolls. Now, Ajax, I want to ask you a question. Mm. Do you think that he flubbed the tech or that Venya actually did, didn't miss the tech on purpose because he was hoping... Well, actually, no, that wouldn't work. No, 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 he just missed well, the tech. Well, he, if he actually teched in place... He would, he would have just died outright. Yeah. But Light was in a situation in the last game. He's made a lot of money off of tech chase up smashes. 
more than most people have yeah. <laughs> in uh, the span of a few weeks. But Venya just got caught sleeping a little bit on that. And uh, again, going to this next game, I don't think that's going to phase me too much. He tries to run away from the dash attack. Light on the move. He's trying to like cross him up with that because normally you can't run past your opponent through the dash mechanics because you're like a wall. But dash attack, if you're close enough, can actually cross you up, yep. and, it can, and it's hard to turn around in this game compared to like Smash Wii U. Yeah, and get cr you know punishing cross ups in general in this game is so much harder due to the new shield stun mechanic, and, and that's something that Light abuses a lot. But Venya also abusing his landings, good shine stall, and avoiding the up smash as well. Light finally able to get back down to the ground, but gets Whoa. punished for being aggressive at the ledge with that counter that, finally working. Oh my god, that kick is so strong. Yeah. Gets the dash attack to try to set him up. Couldn't get too big of a follow up, but now he's off stage with the back airs. Venya's gonna have to respect it. He won't die just yet. A good answer trying to go for the aggressive option off the ledge. And we're seeing now Light is starting to adjust to these double jumps off the ledge. And this is now the first time where we're seeing Light not let the bleeding get too heavy after losing a first stock. He actually managed to even that up pretty quick. The sour spot new up smashes just have been like the dominating force in this match. Ooh. And I like the fact that Venya, even when he's getting caught on these landings, still commits to it. He's not afraid of trying to go after Light from an airspace where many people would be. Neutral air up smash. Not enough to get the kill just yet. Tries to get the follow up afterwards. Shadow sneaks coming out. I like this aggressive play from Venya. Looking for an attempted fair off the side of the stage to back Light off, but he's not going to get it. And catches him again. But good defense going for the ledge here with the air dodge. You notice that Venya was just holding shield there, even though Light was pushing with the dash, because he knows that Fox would be able to get pretty much anything off of grab at that point. Mm -hmm. He was waiting for like a jump. Okay, we're both moving. Gets the down tilt, gets the forward air. Venya putting, putting Light on his final stock in game two. Definitely understanding and agreeing with Venya as to why he's saying this character is so strong. All of his abilities to just kill confirm repeatedly. Oh, oh no! no! Okay, and he was trying to splash right there. If Venya would have gone for an up while on that stage, he could have pushed off. That could have been the game. Yeah, we could have been going to game three right now, but unfortunately for Venya, it's just a little bit too late to try and go for the up B. Give him light, a second lease on life. Okay, Venya just playing the retreating game a bit here, waiting to finally connect that first arrow before trying to push the guns. There he goes. Trying to, he's honestly, he's going for the hydro pump a lot more often now. Now he recognizes he almost got like a gimp off of it on lights. Yeah, I think. Oh, it gets the drag down. Actually, had the right call. Too but quick on the down. He's just a little too hair quick on that trigger, man. Here we go. 99%. Goes off stage for the shadow sneak. Takes away game two from light. Venia one game away from winning the final Xeno of the year. Xeno 141. We th everyone thought. Sorry, I'm literally. Still I'm still breathing out yeah, pretty I hear heavy you. after I hear, that I think, one. That I was, think the venue is, dog. I feel the thing is, people heard that light was coming. Mm -hmm. So the entire venue, the entire, everyone that attended this tournament is like, well, I guess light's winning the tournament. Not venue. Little did anyone know that it was going to be venue of, of all characters, of all players, to make it to Grants, to take it, knock them to losers, and to be one game away from winning the whole tournament. Again, you know, this is it's not something that is the same territory Light's used to. And because of this new game, he has to accept. And he's taking a long pause there, actually, for the first time in a while. Really stopping and thinking about it. Almost looking like a pouty child who just got his toys taken away from him. But, you know, really trying to figure out <laughs> yeah. what, what, what he could do to adjust to this no, situation my, my, that he's currently my, my in. My man got in trouble trying to catch Santa a little bit early. Found out it was Dad instead. Put the gifts underneath mm -hmm. the tree, and it was just, uh, oh, God, he's heartbroken. Look at him. I thought I was getting that new computer for Christmas so I can stream. He wanted a Dell so badly. He wanted to get an Alienware <laughs> laptop so he could stream his uh, Four Glory gameplay. Yeah, instead, you his know, somebody, GSB trying to get to Elite Smash. He found a 98 Windows at the pawn shop. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? doesn't matter, though, because he gets enough money from these Ws that he gets at events, and this is one that he wants to try and get right now as well. But then you're trying to stop that. Listen, Ajax, if there's any song you could ask for, for potential final game of the tournament. This is it. Well, that and Champion's theme, Cynthia. But anyways, uh, <laughs> on this stage as well, it's just, it, it's so fun. It just makes you want to bounce and get cheerful. But both of these guys, out for murder, you can see the really serious faces on them right now, trying to make sure that they walk away with this W. This is not just for the W, but for bragging rights amongst them as well. This is kind of a strange counter pick for Light, honestly. I've never seen him go to Light Yoshi's Island before. It could just be like a mix-up, because you saw how long mm -hmm. it took for him to decide on a stage counter pick. You just wanted to mix I, things up, I guess. I think we just saw what he's doing it as well. You're seeing he's going for these 
high side Bs. He might be looking for alternate routes to avoid. And right there, he had the option to avoid the down tilt into up smash because he could tech on that platform. Yeah, that platform actually saving him from that conversion. But wait, if you're on the top platform, you got to look out. Yeah, Venyev recognizing it and adjusting accordingly. You know, you can hide all you want, but I can go get you anyways. Is she on the neutral there? Look at him go, connecting the back here, has him off stage. All right, Benny opting to just recover high as well. You know, this is, even though it's working for Light, it's gonna work just as well for Greninja. You see Light normally pressure a lot of people with back airs at the ledge. He has not let him do that to him at all this set. Oh, and he shield poked poking him. him as well. Yo, you got shield pokes, I got him too. That fair oh. gonna put one point on the board for him. Giving him a taste of his own medicine. I like oh, the aggressive like... playstyle from him. He's like, the every time he goes. But there's the back air. I no. just said that he hasn't been caught, but he finally got caught. Light was unfazed by his Venia shenanigans. Good spacing on that forward air. Just retreating it just enough time. Catches the landing. He keeps catching him with the landings with these. Gets the parry on the Nair yet again, but that time, not a maximum combo uh, that he could have gotten for a punish. Ooh, I think that was an input error from Light. I think he wanted a back air. Yeah, that Nair, unfortunately. Yeah, it is a thing with this game. Like, you could get the accidental buffers. It's it's something we're all getting used to, but you see these top contenders really getting used to it already. Not normally a lot of technical flops like that. Yeah, oh, good did. delay for holding onto the wall there, messing up Light's timing. Yeah, this is actually a good thing for Greninja. He can actually just cling to the wall down mm -hmm. below when it's just a straight wall like that. It allows him to mix up his recovery. Great parry, but unfortunately, he's the one that died for it. Yeah, no uh, platform that time to save him with a tech. He's going to take that down to the up smash, and now all of a sudden, Venya looking like he could potentially walk away with this tournament last stock on Light's life. Literally just one stock away, dog. There he goes, he's chilling off stage, trying to mix up his recovery by using the wall clings again. As he jumps around, he's trying to unload the toad, but there's the up smash coming out from Fox McCloud, one stock apiece. Winner of this decides the like the, the fate of what we're gonna witness here, because Light trying to reset the bracket will have to win another set against Venio. Venio's trying to get us home right now. It's something simple that I don't think a lot of people might be noticing, is that Light is not taunting at the end of these stocks. Like, usually he feels himself very, very much when he's doing that. He knows that he's kind of running with it or trying to get himself amped up. He's legitimately feeling a little stressed right now. Definitely needs that as a, oh, he gets the counter, 82%. Bad spot, goes he for go the dare, but it was just high enough. Uh, that, is, thought, that is such the Venia thing to do. Go for the down air, try to just stomp on his head. We're trying to close out the entire tournament, 95%. One down tilt away from closing this out. But on the, below the platform, might not be able to work. Goes for the dash tag instead. Catches him uh, with an attempt to punish that air dodge on the landing. Doesn't get to go. Gets the down tilt into the fair. Not going to take it though. This shuriken going to force him to have to go low. And doesn't get the counter. He Lights going for the shine. But oh, yes, D's. Oh, no. Get the Firefox at the ledge. Not a way you want to see that tournament end. But regardless, Venia, your Zeno 141 champion, the final Zeno of the year, taking out light and defending New York City. What an excellent set, regardless of that last thing there. You know, it's something that does happen. It's unfortunate, but Light's going to hold that L regardless and say, you know what, I'm going to come back. I'm going to get it next time. But Venya solidifying the defense of NY for today. Maybe not next time, but for today. But it looking very I'm solid. And I mean, it, was, it, was I, good, it was a good game. No, know? absolutely. absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually very impressed and happy that he came out and proved to everybody why this Greninja is so good. Because he's been preaching it on Twitter. Like, yo, anybody who doesn't believe me, meet me at Let's Make Moves, money match me any amount. That's literally what he said. That sounds like you like named a number I'll play. <laughs> yeah. And he is proven today. The guy who just beat Tweak and Nairo twice at NYXL. Really showing everybody why he is as strong as he is. Just got beat. Venya. No, I gotta ask you a very important question. Mm -hmm. Do you think Venya has what it takes to win Let's Make Moves? Absolutely. After really? the way that he played today. No hesitation. Uh, uh, the fact that we just saw that there's so many great confirms, such good movement options for Greninja, I think that if you decide to sleep on Venya going into Let's Make Moves, you are going to regret it. It's gonna be a terrible idea, and that's why you're gonna hold the L if you don't respect it. And I think that he proved to everybody why he deserves there. And if you are not going, make sure you tune in to everything that's streaming. You got even matchup gaming, plus Nairo, and of course, HL3K, who's gonna be helping to stream. Uh, that will be this upcoming Saturday. That's my phone. This is not mine. The, the Austin giving away my phone. My, 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 my man owns it. The thing is, let's make moves, guys. We have so much competition here. There's gonna be Larry Lur, Void, coming from the West mm -hmm. Coast. We got Ally dropping by, Ally Captain Zach. 
Um, Cosmos is coming it's through. Sam Sora Tweak, is going to be Sam Sora. Like, there's so Nairo, many. Of this is literally the biggest ultimate tournament that we've had so far. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to be interviewing Vinny. Do you want me to handle this? Vinny, oh. Vinny's my bro, dog. Your, I say it's New your York won. New York won, dog. You I'm sorry. New York if won. It was light, I if it, it was light, I would have let you do it. Yeah, right. if light. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I am, of course, Ajax, a.k.a. 10,000 names that Devin has given me today. And I will be seeing you guys next time. Don't go anywhere, guys. We will be right